Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, we're gonna talk about cross report drill through and Power BI. Stay tuned. Cross report drill through. So the traditional drill through has been out a while. And if you don't know how to do the page to page, when I say traditional, I'm talking about the page to page drill through um, within the same report. If you haven't, don't know how to set that up, go watch my video. I got a video that I published a while ago about it. Check it out. It'll walk you through the steps. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about cross report. So I have one page and one report. Let's call it my source report. Source report is a report that will actually you the visual that you'll use to invoke the drill to the other report, the other page in the other report. That's my source. And the re report that you land on, we're gonna refer to that as our target, right? That's actually gonna be the page that you land on after you after the drill is initiated from your other report, right? So two separate reports. I'm gonna go from one page in one report, my source report, to another page in my, uh, in another report. And so the reason I'm doing this is because I kind of stumbled when I set this up the first time, and then there's a really interesting scenario that somebody brought to me and I'm gonna show them how to solve it in this video, okay? All right, so the scenario. I have one report that contains everything I need um, from a pretty high level, and I saw another report that contains some other information I need. I can recreate that report, that page, right, in, the, in the, the initial report, or how can I link them up? And I know you guys have seen my videos where I use the hyperlinks and the URL filters to go from one page to the other, but you don't have to do that anymore, right? You can use cross report um, drill through, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So that's in the scenario. So we're gonna start, we're gonna start, wait, 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 too much talking, you guys know what I like to do, right? Let's head over to my laptop. Okay, here's my, here's the source report. And remember, the source report is what's gonna initiate all this drill through. And so in my source report, I have two pages, my overview, and then I've configured drill, really simple. I've configured drill, I right click, and I click drill through to monthly sales, right? And that'll filter this report based on all my current filters. And I set that up. Like I said, if you haven't watched the video on drill through, go take a look. And you can see, right, I just took my month column and I dragged it right here and that initiated the page to page drill through. But what I wanna do, right, is configure the page to page drill through across reports. So go from one page to another page and two separate reports. And so remember, this is my source. So I'm gonna open up my target to configure this. What you're gonna do is this is this is this is the steps you would take to configure your cross report drill through. Open up your target report on your target report is open up the visualizations pane and you'll see a little toggle for cross report. Switch it to on. By default, it's gonna be off just like this. Toggle it on. All right. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to identify the column that you're going to use to connect those two reports. One of the requirements is that one of the main requirements is that those you need to have those columns and that they need to be named the same and they need to exist in both reports. But more importantly, in addition, not more importantly, but in addition to that, the table names, the tables that contains those columns, those names must be the same also. OK, the table and the column names must be the exact same across both of those reports. Right. Then you identify that column. and You just drag it down to the drill through section here. All right. The drill through dwell. All right. Once you do that, then all you need to do is go to file options options and settings and options. And then what you're going to see, there's going to be two sections, global and current file, select current file and look for report settings. And you're going to see a property, a little section called cross report drill through. And there's going to be a property allow visuals in this report to use drill through targets from other reports. Check it, right? Click it. You have to click that. All right. And then click. Okay. Save the report and then publish it. If you forget to do this, that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to do it in the service also, okay? So this is our target report. This is where we're gonna land after we initiate the drill through in the source. Got it? Okay, so now you go over to your source report. You go to your source report. And what you're gonna do is, on that visualization pane, you'll see that cross report toggle. You're gonna to be tempted to toggle it on. It just seems like I should toggle it on, but I'm gonna you know, conjure up my inner Samuel L. Jackson. I just saw the Avengers in game. Don't touch that toggle, all right? Leave it alone, right? Leave it alone. Um, and th the only thing you need to do is make sure that that table and column from your target report exists in the source report and ensure that you can get the context of that, that value 
when you pass it. In other words, I have a table that contains that order number. So when I right click, it's going to grab that order number, pass it to the other report and filter that page by that order number. OK, um, and then go to file options and settings options, the exact same property, the exact same property, locate current file, report settings, check the box, check the box. All right. Click OK, save the report and publish it. All right. Almost done. Then you go to your workspace where you publish these reports. If you forgot to set that property, once you go to your report in that workspace, you'll see a little gear on either one of those reports. You need to remember this property needs to be set for both the target and the source, the source and the target, however you want to line them up. You click that gear, you scroll to the bottom. If it doesn't appear and you'll see cross report drill through, make sure it's gold, make sure it's toggled on and repeat that for both of them. If you've got to do it in the desktop, once that's done, all you need to do is go to your source report. So on my source report, I'm going to go to my page to page drill. I'm drilling from one page and one in the same report. So a page in one report to another page in the same report, not leaving any report. The both of these reports, my source and my target must be in the same workspace. I think I forgot to say that earlier. These reports must be in the same workspace. All right. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to drill through to monthly sales overview that filters that page. So now what you want to do is find the you know, the order that you want to drill through, right click it, select drill through. And what you're going to see is the name of the page with the actual report name in brackets. So I'm going to go from, I'm going to go from my source page over to the customer details page in the target report. All right. So remember this number two Oh, not remember this number right here. Uh, two Oh one nine. I'm just kidding. Right. Right. Click, click drill. And now what's going to happen is it takes that order number, passes it to another report in the same workspace on a page in that report, filters that report. Let me open up the filters pane just so you can see, right? Filters that report because I said, keep all my filters. Not only does it filter report by all the filters that specified on that page, but it also takes that order number and filters my new report, my new page in my report buy that order number. Fabulous. This is great. This is great. Just a couple of clicks. You got to learn some clicks to get all this set up, but not a whole bunch of work. I stumbled, but now with this video, hopefully nobody else stumbles. All right. What do you guys think? You got think you got any questions, comments, you know what to do. Post them in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting a guy in the cube channel. Hit that subscribe button. And if you like my video, big thumbs up as always from Adam and myself. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. I'm a silly little guy in a cube.